Today I want to speak about encouragement and the importance of encouragement and how it can help people to achieve things they may never thought they could have done. Talo falava, malo lele, fakalo falahi atu, hula, karana, warm Pacific greetings, welcome back to Pacifically Correct. Team encouragement is really, really important, so important that the Bible tells us to do it. So I want to share a little bit about what I understand about encouragement because everybody needs encouragement. Encouragement, I consider food for the soul, vitamin E for the soul. What's the soul? Well, soul is your will and your soul is your, your heart to achieve, your determination. Now, when you speak to a person and you affirm them by saying, hey, you're a really good basketball player, you're a really good rugby player, you read really well, you do this or you do that. And when you encourage them, what happens is that food for the soul, their mind goes, wow, I can do this because somebody admired that. And their determination says, I want to keep doing it because I get a really cool feeling when somebody pats me on the back and says, you do well. So it's important that we encourage one another, especially our children. I want to share a little story that I heard from a, a speaker by the name of Murray Tom at a men's conference many years ago, but it stuck with me. And I've shared it with probably hundreds, if not thousands of young people over the years as I've spoken myself at conferences. And it starts off with him taking his kids to an athletics meeting. And when they arrived, the meeting had already started. There was this long distance race going around the track. And while his kids went off to get ready for their event, Murray went and stood by the side and he could see this long distance race going on. Now, he could see this Pacifica or Māori guy coming last. And as he approached Murray, the rest of the runners were all up front. Murray just goes, hey, kid. And the guy looks up and he says, go for it. And Murray said, instantly, it went from just a slow sort of, oh, I'm just going to finish this race. So he started sprinting. He ran so fast that he caught up to the group. And when the race finished, he came third. And then Murray looked at the crowd and says, now, where would that kid have come if I had said that at the beginning of the race? So many of our young people are not achieving because they just needed that boost. They needed that vitamin E in the soul. I want to share another story very briefly about a teacher that I had at Evandale College many years ago. I yearned to play basketball, but back in the day when I was young, you didn't have any basketball intermediate. You basically started at college. And when we got to college, I wasn't good enough to make the the uh, third form A team, and they didn't have enough coaches, um, so there was, they were going to cancel the B team if they couldn't find a particular teacher. So what happened was, this, um, the coach of the A team said, look, I'm going to look for another guy who would come and teach, you know, who could come and take the B team, which was our team, but if I can't find anybody, sorry, we're cancelling the B team and there's only going to be one team this year. Of course, we were heartbroken and everything else, but praise God, they, he found this Māori guy by the name of John Thorpe. I have no idea if John Thorpe's still alive or not. He was an economics teacher, definitely not a basketball player. But he came along in his running gear one day. And of course, we, you know, being third formers, knew everything. And we were saying to this guy, oh, look, you know, we'll just train ourselves sort of thing. And we were just happy that he was there because that allowed us to have an official team. Anyway, he put so much time and energy. He was, you know, part of the transporting of us and everything else. And he did so much for us. And one day, years later, I'm sitting in the Mount Roscoe Police Station. I'm looking up these photographs of me and the New Zealand police basketball team. And I started thinking to myself, man, where did that all start? And I remember John. So I went on the computer, because we can do that, and I tracked him down, and I rang him out of the blue. I said, John, my name's Nick Tuitasi. You won't remember me, but before I could say another word, he goes, Nick, great to hear from you. I see what you're doing for you, you know, your young people, and good on you, you know, you're making me proud. And I said, look, John, I didn't actually ring you to um, find a, a chairman for my, my fan club. I actually just ran to tell you that as though, you know, and I told him about my basketball career as a result of him stepping in. It went quiet, and I, I swear he was crying. There, there was a slump in his throat, and he said, you know, Nick, it's not often that a student would contact a teacher years later to say thank you. So I want to challenge us. There are people who helped us get to where we are today. Track them down, ring them up, encourage them and say, thank you for what you did. This is my life today. Because when you do that and you start to encourage whether they're young or old, you're really starting to stiffen their spine and you're really starting to give them confidence that they can achieve things that they thought they may never have achieved. Let's keep encouraging one another because that's specifically correct. Of Tai Lava, to Fast Before.